Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial bite for Oxygen Not Included, which is a quick look at exploring and map mobility. And I'm going to talk through how to explore the map and then move your dupes around it, especially for large maps. Starting with exploring, the first point to make is simply that you should do it early and do it a lot. Your printing pod will be in the middle of the map, unless your map has the miscalculated pod location world trait. Building outwards will reveal some areas, but you need to make a focused effort to really find everything the map has to offer. I'm showing here the size of a base game map, or classic size spaced out DLC planetoid, and as you can see, it's huge. Going out into the map early lets you find key resources, plants to farm, or critters to ranch. You can also find buried geysers. These can be seen by the four horizontal tiles of Neutronium, and I will cover geysers in their own tutorial bite. After making a core base around my starting location, I always dig side to side, usually using two tile high paths, and up and down with a ladder and pole combo. Then from the main ladder, I will dig off more tunnels, and it always helps to know the dupe pathing very well, as you can save time by minimising digging and building. Oxygen levels and temperatures can be issues when trying to explore. Fortunately, Atmo suits solve both of these, and oxygen masks help as a minimum. I will also explain suits in more detail in another tutorial bite, but I would highly recommend you set these up as soon as possible to aid exploring. But even if you can't get these up quickly, then still send dupes out. You'll find it's less hazardous than you might have thought. Talking about map mobility, I wanted to quickly go through the ways dupes can get around, and some tips for using these. The basic method is the ladder, and whilst obviously these are needed to go directly up and down, they are also excellent for strip mining, where you dig out large areas of the map. You will need many segments when playing, and I always have at least one ladder that runs the entire height of the map, ensuring the dupes have quick and easy access. Ladders can be upgraded to plastic ladders, which increases climbing speed by 20%, but this requires a well-managed source of plastic, and temperatures must be carefully considered as plastic melts at only 160 degrees Celsius. Tiles can also be used for mobility, and even the default tile gives a plus 25% run speed. Metal tiles are even quicker and give a plus 50% run speed, as well as a nice decor bonus. You can use these in high traffic areas, although I still prefer ladders when expanding out across the map. These are quicker to build, don't trap gases, and don't catch liquids or solid debris. Next up are the fire poles, which are a great way for dupes to go downwards, but are terrible for climbing up. Therefore, these are used in combination with ladders side by side, so the dupes can take the ladder up and the pole down. Similar to ladders, I also always ensure I have a single pole that covers the entire height of the map next to a ladder, as well as using these as combos inside my living area. Lastly, the transit tubes are by far the quickest way for your dupes to get around the map. You'll need a transit tube access for dupes to enter and exit the system, and these require 960 watts of power when charging, which is pretty much an entire normal wise capacity. The tubes themselves are made of plastic, and once inside dupes move very quickly around the map. To build them, you'll again need a well-managed source of plastic, and beware high temperatures which will cause these sections to melt too. Similar to the ladder and pole, for my main access I will also leave a third tile open to make a top to bottom run of transit tube, which I then build later on. Another point to make with map mobility is the tubes will move more quickly in straight lines rather than twisting routes. Whilst this might be obvious, what this practically means is that in-game it's better for mobility to simply clear out large portions of the map. I'll fully explain how to do this in the tutorial bite for strip mining, but I would encourage you to dig out as much as you can. And that's all there is for this brief tutorial bite on exploring and map mobility in Oxygen Not Included. I hope this helps you explore with confidence, and thanks for watching. 